How's it going everyone? I just wanted to really showcase uh, these hand poke tools I'm making. This piece in particular was making for but uh, for an Instagram guy named Awaken to the One. Um, we're trading a little bit of work back and forth so uh, before this gets shipped out, polished and shipped out I gotta throw on the gloves and actually polish this thing first but I wanted to make a quick little video on uh, kind of what my tool is about. Uh, it's not the first uh, design out there. Um, it was definitely a pretty clean design. Uh, I make tons of different ones of these. Uh, it's not to say I make anything in crazy production. Uh, they're all pretty much one-offs with something a little bit unique and special to them. Uh, whether it be different types of thumb screws or different types of materials, designs, patterns, what have you. I'm going to really focus this year on making really intricate pieces that might have, uh, y you know, some 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 crazier things. I got some things I'm working on. Uh, this is actually new to my design, if anyone really has seen my work in the past. Uh, the Sayagata swastika design that I machined right on top of this uh, this hand poke tool. It's really cool. It's one-off, and it's something I wanted to do for uh, this individual in particular, um, just to get things rolling again. So... This piece was made out of uh, brass, obviously here. Uh, it's got a thumb screw. All of my hand poke tools come with a flush set screw and Allen key. Uh, this means you can take this set screw out um, if you choose to, and I'll show you that here in a second, and you can throw in the set screw and it actually sits flush or even uh, down a little bit. It's all stainless steel, everything here uh, which this is a big pro as far as using, um, you know, maybe some other techniques as far as wood, bone, um, and other sort of materials like that, plastic. This can all be autoclavable. You can you can throw it in a statum, remove the set screw, get everything out, and, uh, you know, really sanitize everything after you're done uh, using or before use. So, like I said, this is not the final product. I still have to put a really high polish, sand the crap out of it, and uh, ship it out. I can get it all done in a day, though. Um, machining this does take about a day, depending on design work. Could be two days. Let me show you with a thumb screw real quick how you can quickly add a needle. This hole is drilled out to 135 all the way down. It's big enough to accept a nine round shader. You can go bigger. You can obviously can't throw a mag in here due to the design of not cutting, but if you cut this uh, this eye loop off the end, you can get a whole lot other uh, combinations in there. So what we'll do is I'm sorry, working with this uh, behind the camera. So you throw the needle in all the way down and set your set screw. Set your thumb screw. You can have it protrude out as much as you would like. Um, and it looks just about like that. I'm sorry I can't get the whole thing in frame, but um, you get the idea. Having a tool like this adds a lot more weight than using, uh, let's say, a tongue depressor with some tape um, and obviously a lot more sanitary. Uh, you can throw this through the statum if you're, if you're a company or you're, you have access to one. Um, and it and it's fully sterile within uh, within about 25 minutes. Uh, like I said, it goes up to a nine round shader. This is a five round liner, and uh, I'm sorry, a three round liner. And uh, yeah, it's a it's a really cool tool. Uh, it's definitely not the first of its kind. These things have been around forever, but. I'm starting to throw different designs and patterns in there, and I have some things I'm working on in the future on uh, different types of styles of hand poke tool I can do. Uh, I just need to do some testing in an autoclave to see if it's even possible. And uh, let's get the set screw in there. Like I said, every tool is going to come with a set screw, so you can change the thumb screw out if you don't like this. Um, and there's many reasons to not like the thumb screw. Obviously, the convenience is really nice. Um, but the set screw sits flush, so you set your set screw in there, tighten it all the way up. You can throw your needle all the way back in there. 
Like I said, I'm doing it behind the camera, so. Just like so. And you set your set screw. This is definitely not the final form of this tool. I still need to add a crazy polish. And you can see it's just about flush. And actually, if I spin the needle in a different direction, it would sit flush. But there you have it. Uh, these are my tools. I'll link you to uh, my page, my Instagram page for making these tools. And I'll also link you to the new owner of this tool that will end up getting shipped out tomorrow. If you have any questions, YouTube is probably not the way to contact me. I just use this for uploading a bunch of uh, random stuff. But definitely shoot me an Instagram um, message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure there's anything else to uh, really describe about this. I'm planning on doing tons of different designs. I got a whole bunch of stuff in my drawing book that I uh, have whooped up. But... Um, yeah, having something like this type, uh, having a tool like this is really practical. It's uh, gives you a lot better uh, control. The weight is definitely up there. It's not. Uh, you know what? I'll weigh this out. I'll weigh this out later and put the weight in the comments. But it gives you a lot more weight than just holding a needle in, <laughs> like just like this. This is incredibly light, and plus it gives you a wider grip. Gives you something to grab and uh, go to work. Uh, plus, it looks pretty elegant. I like it. I like it a lot. So, oh, this video was probably so messy. Um, yeah, I'll link everything down below, and I will do more showcases of new tools that I make in the future. Uh, be sure to look at this one on Instagram, the high polished version, um, when it gets shipped out. So, uh, everyone have a good day.